they call me the ghetto Van Gogh. Painting pictures in the project like Picasso. They call me the ghetto Van Gogh. Cause artistically I do the impossible. They call me the ghetto Van Gogh. But I'm Tony B. Conscious just so you know. What do I do? Me? I take spray paint and stencil. Nothing but an exacto knife, paper, a pencil, making stencils. I get busy. Into the dragon. Venice Beach, California. I'm holding it down for hip hop. Tony B. Conscious, Pan African. Pro black, anything you want to call me, Afrocentric, hotel. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. Walu Akbar. Yeah. All that, I'm down with that. Not only am I a poet, a painter, a prophet, a teacher, I'm also about to be a father. I am not a starving artist. I'm too protected to be affected. My hands are anointed. You won't be disappointed. I'm too blessed to be stressed. Come and take your art home. I'm painting from, from a philosophical, a metaphysical, and a cultural level. Like the Buddha said, I'm not attached to anything. This ain't mine. I'm doing this for y'all. This is, I'm just a vessel. This is y'all. Damn. Mike in one hand, spray paint can in the other. Words of my mother, this damn brother. The he on Venice Beach, rock in New Jersey, the only teach. A freshman, no oratory, education, technician. Damn, I'm on a mission. I guess I gotta uplift my people. And I got to end all the evil. Together they form the West Side Story. All races. I know this. I derives from this artwork, every yeah. everybody, because so real, everything that's benefited from these these uh, heroes and these leaders has benefited all mankind. So, Robert F. Kennedy, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Huey Newton, all of them, Farrakhan, all of them, everybody, you, me, we all one under the sun. This guy here, he's all black and he's all that. That's all I can say about Tony. Yeah, I think he's like a modern day Picasso. What do you think about seeing this plethora of African American images that he um, to us on the boardwalk here? Finally, there's uh, finally there's someone who is publicly not afraid to um, show the history, show the history um, in the black community, and show it proudly. And this is great because he's an educator. Everybody I paint, I can tell you, I can tell you something about everybody I paint. I would say 70% of the people who come up to my booth. Bob Morley, Jimi Hendrix. I like me a f***ing pillow. I, I paint the rest so I can try to expand their mind and say, look, uh, 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 culture is more than Bob Morley and Jimi Hendrix. First of all, Jimi Hendrix used to play in James Brown's band. Oh, let me introduce you to Bootsy. Let me tell you how Bootsy got started. Or let me take you back to Miles Davis. Let me take you, let me take you to Satchmo. Let me take you to Charles Mingus. Let me take you, let me show you what was before Jimmy and Bob. Oh, and Bob. Bob was inspired by this guy by the name of Marcus Garvey. Let me show you what Garvey looked like and, and what his message. See, that's what I'm painting for. I'm painting for more than just to make profits. I'm trying to turn the people into profits. What does it mean to you to see all these black images here on the boardwalk? It means that black people are, are they're gaining their place in American and world society, their true place. You see what I mean? It takes it back to see the folks from the 70s and the, and the early 80s who really are, who paved the way for folks to be where they are today. So it's, uh, it's good to see that someone's creating art that shows that. It's always good to see someone, you know, with a positive energy. So much negative in the world, and if you have positive and the art is beautiful. What's up, y'all? You know how to say? Live and let live, hey. Live and let live, live and let live, live and let live. Don't run away from me. You can't run, but you can't hide, y'all. Hey. Live and let live, live and let live, live and let live. Come on, sister, I got one right here for you. 
You know what it say? Black is beautiful. Oh, you forgot? So, because I was born black, I represent black to the fullest of my capability. Run and tell your mama, we voting for Obama. But, before I'm black, I'm human. How do you spell relief today? Oh, B A M A. And before I'm human, I'm a spirit and a soul. I am a spirit that happens to be in a black body. Get off your ass, put the bud down, put the pipe down, and get up and vote for something other than American Idol. Vote for Obama. And fortunately, I have to say the most outlandish shit to my people yeah. to get them to even look at our shit. Come on and check out my art. So you can drop some of them stereotypes you got a black folk. I'm giving you the melanin discount. I'm hooking you up. I'll you on it. You got melanin? Yeah. Come on now, you can go shop in them Asian stores, but I'm your brother. You can't even come and look? You can't even come and look? With a bag full of sweatshop shit putting your hand in there? <laughs> I'm, maybe I'm getting too political for y'all. I don't want to scare y'all away from my art. But that's just a little knowledge I needed to drop. Oh, oh, break it down. Go, Let me go, 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 go. I give back. I'm not one of these hypocrites. Come to Venice Beach and take from Venice Beach and take from Venice Beach and never give nothing back. I try to give more than I receive. Please don't fight. Please don't fight. We don't want y'all to fight. And we gotta stop the violence. Should I give them a little silence? Self-destruction. You had it for a self-destruction. Yo, the topic self-destruction is about y'all. Cause we ain't fronting out here in the grass trying to whoop each other's ass. Stop it. You don't need to fight. We are gonna beat y'all need to unite. Against the ghetto birds. They must be coming after me. Cause the guy over there called him on me. The guy over there always calling the police on me. He called the ghetto bird on me. They gonna come swoop me out the sky. Clothing remarks. Yo! You have been at Venice Beach all day with Tony B. Conscious, the ghetto Van go. What have we learned? You gotta think it and you gotta walk in prosperity and abundance. Yeah. If you don't walk in it, you're always gonna be stuck out here trying to beg for a dollar and a no. You gotta be above that. Yeah, here we go. You're connected to the universe. Yes. The universe is abundant. Yes. 